you know, the Rake School, because it is so unique, attracts uh, an extraordinary group of talented students that probably would not otherwise come to the University of Nebraska. I mean, we know what their other offers are, and they're pretty spectacular institutions. Uh, so it, it had the impact of bringing a core of students here that were extraordinarily talented. But I think it raises the level for the entire institution. It is an example of what Nebraska can do when it focuses its resources and has its support. It does give us a, a selling point to raise the level of all of our programs. It's not, you know, we talk a lot about computer science and business and them coming together, but that's such an oversimplification of what it really offered. I think back at some of the highlights, and it's even things like Harvey Perlman teaching us about, you know, corporate law and IP law. I mean, that, that was like really impactful, and I cannot imagine any other program offering that level of expertise to help me understand why law is important for what we're trying to do, and that's served us very, very well in our business. It's, you know, things like accounting and, heck, even supply chain management and things that I never thought I would need that have actually been really critical in us building the business together. They've seen the industry and they've also seen uh, a lot at other universities such as Stanford and other great universities that they've brought the best of all that experience uh, to bear at the Rake School to ensure that it's truly a multidisciplinary program where, where students are getting the intersection of business and technology education. They're getting exposure to great companies uh, through design studio projects and internships uh, and they're, they're being taught by some of the, the best professors uh, that there are in the country. From the very start, our fellow graduates are getting amazing jobs not only in Nebraska, but in Washington, in California, in North Dakota, in Massachusetts, and even more employers are flocking to the Midwest and seeing what the University of Nebraska and the Rake School have to offer. So for us, we need more talent. We have a lot of open positions. We love hiring Rake School graduates. We need to see this program grow. The exposure that Rakes gives you to delivering real software to an actual paying customer and leading projects with great talent but having to interface with other companies is tremendous through the Design Studio program and Design Thinking, which Jeff and Trisha have really brought with the, with the directors of the program. And it's not just about being around those people and being around them in an awesome environment, which Coffin Center absolutely is, but it's about like, having a culture in that community where everyone wants to share and help each other out. So it was never any skin off anyone's back to stop whatever they're working on and help someone like me, a business major, write some code, which is a lot of times what it was, uh, often this guy. But you know, the business majors were getting help writing code from all the CS and computer engineering you know, brilliant minds, and then vice versa. As business majors, we were helping with you know business plans or papers or maybe some of the microecon or macroecon stuff for the CS side. So there's just like such cool camaraderie super complimentary and then you're in this building together and you mash that. You mash that together and what comes out of it really is truly unique. Um, it's been great to watch as they've found their voice and found their stride with the Rakes program, um, being more involved and active with the students and giving them the real hands-on mentoring about how to shape their careers and get on the right trajectory for a lifetime of success. Perhaps because we're in computer science, we tend to talk a lot about the computer science aspect of the Rakes program, but actually it's an interdisciplinary program with computer science and business being equally important and emphasized. And in that spirit, Rakes is truly unique. MIT has a hacker culture. I think that one of the important things you get as a student there is not only academic training, but really hands-on training on how to build things like robots or different flavors of software. The Rakes program truly has that same spirit. Like you rarely hear of a CS program with such a strong interest and emphasis in sports like football, that's really rare, or a CS program that has a end of year presentation where everyone's required to wear suits. I think in tech, we're really interested in increasing diversity, new perspectives, interdisciplinary thought, and Rakes really has its own unique angle. Jeff has always been my strategic partner when I was at the university in many uh, areas. He called it string of pearls, I called it spires on the horizon, but regardless of the metaphor, the idea was the same. That you needed focus, you needed investment, you needed passion, you needed discipline, and in that way you could build programs that were as good as the programs anywhere. And not only would the students who participated in it benefit, 
but the entire university would benefit from the rise in uh, just intellectual capacity and, and enrollment from the, its stature. Uh, and of course, the state benefits tremendously. The design studio process is really establishing uh, completely new paradigms for how to educate students, um, a, a great path and a great opportunity to get real hands-on experience with companies, uh, in the trenches, working on real-world projects. Um, there, there's a lot that we can learn, and I don't think the Rakes program is done innovating in, in that regard. I think that the Rakes program involvement with companies in Nebraska and around the country, uh, especially through Design Studio, it's right off the bat contributing uh, juniors and seniors in the program as um, effectively employees. These are smart, hardworking, ambitious people who are willing to jump right in uh, roll their sleeves and get to work on real world problems. He and I, uh, as two guys in the industry that had deep agricultural roots, I think there was a bond there right away to find out this is a guy that grew up uh, uh, driving tractor and shoveling manure and, and had uh, knew, knew where he came from, never forgot where he was from. And, but man, has he, gone, he and uh, Trisha have gone on to uh, have a huge impact on the world. What a gift uh, to the University of Nebraska and to the state of Nebraska and to uh, everyone because of Jeff and Trish's investment in really trying to build a world-class organization. Education is a value that was instilled in me uh, and my siblings by our, our parents. My dad always stayed very connected to the university for its ideas, for its research, and for information that was really going to make a big difference in our family farming operation. So I grew up with a real sense of how important the university was to our work and to our family. And that, I think, is one of the most valuable roles that the university plays here in Nebraska. Because we love this state, we understand the significance of the university to Nebraska, and we passionately believe in the unlimited possibilities. So it's a very much a part of our, our life to be here in Nebraska. That bastion of confidence sitting there in the Kauffman Center and how it influences all the students is probably the most important thing Rakes provides and that was foresight from Jeff and Trisha and everyone who's involved in the program of building the Oxford style setup at Coffin so that we were living together and around each other you know all the time. Side important benefit of that I met my wife in that building <laughs> so I can also attribute some amount of credit to Jeff not all of it but some amount um, for a lot of people that I met including some really important people in my life in that building. The vision of Jeff uh, and Tricia has been so important, and, and not just their vision, but it is their commitment to this program and their deep engagement in, in caring about the way the courses are taught and who the cohort is and, and what the curriculum is and what the experiential learning component ought to, ought to be. It is highly unusual that you find a program with the original donor that deeply engaged and that is probably what makes it really really unique and what we're so grateful to the Rakes for is not just their gift of money but their gift of time and their energy and their intellectual attention because it's really shaping that program every day and every year. You take these students who are amazingly talented and you give them this crazy curriculum and then see what they can do with it and it's exciting to be part of all of that as we've introduced data science to our students and the students want to get data science curricula and want to do design studio projects with data science, we need to figure out how to do those sorts of projects as well. And then finally, we're probably going to be restarting our master's program that had existed for many years and kind of faded away, and we're looking at ways to bring that back. The education that they're receiving at the Rake School uh, across uh, software design and engineering, uh, the design school program, the de design projects that these kids are doing their junior, senior years, these are really some of the top most capable people in the world coming out of this program. I mean, Jeff, Trisha, thank you so much for all the opportunities that you as individuals and the Rakes program overall have provided. Uh, I literally cannot imagine my life without this program uh, and the trajectory that it put me on uh, with my life. Um, it's been such a wonderful opportunity, so thank you. Jeff and Trisha, 
Thank you for being such excellent role models to all of us throughout your career. We'd like to really recognize you for the wonderful things you've done. Programs like the Rake School help draw in a, a student base. I can speak from my own experience coming from Kansas City. I think University of Nebraska is a phenomenal place, but I wouldn't have discovered it without the Rake School. Having Jeff and Trisha involved and having their guidance, Jeff's as a director, Trisha as an investor, around what Nebraska values mean and what kind of company you can build here in Lincoln really helped shape our decision to stay here and stay headquartered in Lincoln. The, the impact is so large. I don't know if you ever imagined it being this large or how many lives it's impacted, but certainly our lives. Um, and it's, it's due to the fact that he just, he cares about making people's lives better. And you can see that in all those philanthropic endeavors. But you know, specifically for me and for Huddle, um, I just, there's no way we'd be what we are today. There's no way Huddle would exist without his generosity. Two reasons that I get to Nebraska, Warren Buffett and uh, Jeff Rakes. Well, it's been very impressive that the Rake School has attracted great students. Uh, obviously, it's a wonderful field to have the university doing world-class work in, the, the number of jobs, the impact of those jobs across uh, so many areas of applications uh, will be very important to the world. And so that school's made a, a huge difference. Thanks, Jeff and Tricia, for all you have done and for all you continue to do for me for the faculty and staff of the Rake School, for the students, for UNL, and really for the state of Nebraska. We're so fortunate to have you. Getting to know Jeff and Tricia has been uh, one of the great things in my uh, life uh, over the last 20 years. Seeing their commitment now to their communities, whether it's Seattle uh, or Nebraska, the entire country and the kinds of things they're doing, the discipline and evidence-based approaches to philanthropy. I think they're really doing a great job of setting a standard for philanthropy in this country and they take it uh, quite seriously. I think in some ways that Jeff never left. He loved Nebraska and, and it shows if you, you know, you'd meet Jeff in Seattle at Microsoft and say, where are you from? I mean, he, he wasn't, he wasn't going to say Redmond or Seattle. He was going to say, I'm from Nebraska. And the flagpole in his front yard that was flying the Nebraska flag I told everybody in the neighborhood where he was from.